It's, um, it's been a nightmare, like, going for different um, like surgery and seeing specialists in London and stuff like that. Uh, they never really put a thing like what exactly it was um, until I found out in October. Back in June, I um, got a problem in my groin area. Um, didn't find it straight away in the MRI, but went to have another MRI in October and they, um, they found out I tore part of the tendon in my groin. So there was a problem with the, the bone um, around like, the pubis area. Had surgery for that straight away and they said it would be around eight to ten weeks. Um, but obviously it's been a bit longer but looking to get back on the pitch soon. I had quite a good run in the side sort of February, March time and then Covid hit um, and then back for the playoffs. Obviously didn't play in that but was feeling good uh, for the new season with the promotion and that and then was hit by the injury straight away. Can't sort of get to know the lads in pre-season as well and stuff like that so yeah it's been a bit annoying. It's always hard when especially when you've got so many new lads coming in you only see them maybe 10, 20 minutes a day in the morning and then I'm staying late after uh, doing the rehab in the gym and they might walk past or something. So yeah, it's good to get out on the pitch now and sort of get to know them a bit more. I've been doing activation, warm up with the, with the squad now, so I sort of feel more, more part of it. Um, and then obviously going to do my individual stuff, um, feeling good, feeling more motivated. So to begin with, yeah, it was just all in the gym. So literally a couple of hours every day for the past six, seven months. So yeah, it can be a lonely place, but motivating to sort of see the grass again. When you see the like the grass and you see the balls, like you want to get straight back on it. But obviously I'm feeling good now. It's just don't want to rush back after so long and then do it again. So I sort of have to calm myself down a little bit and uh, take it step by step. It feels weird sort of going back to it after like six, seven months. Um, it's almost like learning from the basics and stuff. So back sort of striking a ball, um, sprinting, doing stuff like that. Uh, it's just about the movements that I haven't done for, like I say, six, seven months. So just learning that again to sort of get the right movements. So when I go back, I won't sort of injure it again. It's good to get a good connection so you sort of know um, each other well and get on the same same wavelength. Um, so obviously I can help him sort of push me in the right direction. So obviously it's, it's my injury, I know how it feels and obviously you can give the stuff to do back from his experience. But I know Ash will sort of push me to where where I feel comfortable um, and sort of help me along the way. Minimum, I want to be back before sort of the end of the season. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to rush back and injure someone again. I'm going to take it slow and make sure it's right before I'm fully back.